Friends, a user asked for tips for how to get a Tinkercad staff pick. I've got some tips, so let's get cracking. So first things first, if you've never used Tinkercad, it is a website where you can design awesome 3D models. When you first launch it, this is the home page that you'll be greeted by. When the user mentioned a staff pick, you can see these by clicking on the gallery. You can see staff picks is initially checked. It's sorted by most recent, and you can always click on these and check out the amazing designs. This is ZDP 189. I highly recommend that you click on his his profile check all his mechanisms notice they are set to copy and tinker so you can actually get inside and see how they work you can also always click view in 3d and view somebody's creation from every angle including being able to zoom in and that's one of my favorite parts of using tinkercad i'm going to click back here to back out and let's run through my five steps so number one, when you create something awesome, add the tag HLMT23 to it. This tag is something you can put in the properties or the description of any design, and it allows the world to see your designs as long as they do this same search. Right now it's sorted by relevance. If you change it to recent, you can see the most recent creations that have been shared. This is a fantastic way to let me see your work or also get messages to me or anybody else that's checking the HLMT23 tag. As you can see, there are tons of designs. Of course, whenever I see new ones, I will check in and I will give them a reaction. One thing I do want to note, spamming with messages is really not appreciated. If you're reaching out to your friends, you should share a tag with them like EX24. This keeps the HLMT lmt23 tag full of designs instead of just messages that are to your friends number four is going to come from the tinkercad homepage. it is the challenges check these out and compete in all of them the more the staff sees your projects the more chance there is for you to earn a staff pick when you click on these notice you'll find all of the rules this one is an automation challenge. It closes on August 27th. There are currently 101 submissions. If you scroll down, you'll find all the rules. And all you do is hit copy and tinker, make your awesome creation, and then submit the finished design. Do note there's only five entries per user. And this is going to tie into one of our other tips to get a staff pick. Tip number three is going to be from the gallery. Under staff picks, scroll and find any staff picks that I have created and then click on the user profile. When you do that, you'll be able to see all of my public designs and then look for the tutorials. When you click on one of these, note that there's a tutorial here and there are tutorials listed. The more tutorials you complete, the more you learn. You can also click tinker this and inside this project, you'll find more notes showing other cool things that you can create as you gain more skills and increase your opportunities to earn a staff pick. Of course, you can also skip right to my YouTube channel, AHL Mod Tech. As you scroll down, there are tons of tutorials. You'll probably want to go down to the Tinkercad section and find something in there that you want to learn. Don't forget, you can also click on this search button right here and use this search to find things faster. If you type car, it'll instantly show you all of my Tinkercad car projects. And of course, the more tutorials you work through, the more you'll learn and the better your projects will be turning out. And tip number two is post your designs to social. You can find Tinkercad on Instagram, X, TikTok, and also in Facebook groups. Make sure you share your designs to all of them. And of course, tag everything with hashtag Tinkercad. Don't forget, if you ever want me to see it, you can find all of my social. I am, of course, HL Mod Tech. And finally, friends, rule number one, choose quality over quantity. There is nothing wrong with creating tons of awesome Tinkercad projects, but you are much more likely to get one that is a staff pick by creating quality projects. If you are ever bragging about how quickly you created something, you are probably not going to impress many people with what you made. 
Friends, those are the five tips. I'm going to run through them one more time. Tip number five is to make sure you use that HLMT23 tag. Tip number four is to make sure you complete those community challenges. And of course, tip number three is to make sure you find and complete as many Tinkercad tutorials as you can. Of course, don't forget other creators like One Day, One Cad. And then number two was to share to social. And finally, tip number one, always choose quality over quantity. Friends, of course, I hope this helps you on your journey of trying to earn a Tinkercad staff pick. And of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.